I'm Ralph Scott, I'm one of the councillors for Kentish Town. And I'm Nick Russell, I'm the Lib Dem candidate in the upcoming by-election that's on October the 30th. And we're here uh, today at the Torriano, a much-loved local pub in the heart of Kentish Town. Well, I've lived here uh, in the area on Charlton Kings Road for years, and it's been my local, and it's got steadily better since Dean and Susie took it over in 2001 because of their entrepreneurship and their commitment. And I think the creativity, it really shows that there's a, such a wide range of things that go on at this pub. Yeah. Well, they've, it's a very popular pub just for people to sit, to sit down in. Uh, the other evening there were you know, a bunch of girls sitting on their own drinking. There's lots of pubs in London where women wouldn't go and drink on their own. No, and that's the thing, it's like one of the few, uh, few of an old generation of pubs that are left. Yeah. Um, few of a last generation of pubs that are left that all parts of the community mix in. And, you know, you can come here of an evening and they've got stand-up, they've got live music, they've got theatre, they've got quizzes. They've got drumming workshops. The drumming workshops they started for the kids are so popular they're now doing them for grown-ups too. Yeah, I mean, and over the summer they've been really active in the local community. They've been down at at least a couple of the street festivals uh, and they raised nearly they a grand for uh, the community centre around the corner, which was uh, yep. really fantastic because, you know, we need more youth facilities in Kentish Town. Right, so it was uh, a no-brainer when they they were threatened with the uh, uh, development proposal that uh, we would w come and work on their behalf to try and make sure it was overturned. Yeah, absolutely. We we we, we picked up on the campaign. It must have been a few months back. Yeah, yeah. But it was it was hard work. I was down here every every day in the last two weeks, uh, talking about the progress and talking about the arguments we'd been looking into for um, how you could save this great sort of community hall. So I mean, the, the issue was the developers were coming in and they're saying, you know, we're going to take this pub and we're basically going to turn it into flats. And that's just not what this part of the world needs more of at the moment. We need more pubs like this. They yep. were saying, you know, we're going to come in and we're going to axe the uh, entertainment venue in the basement. And then what just didn't make sense is what they were going to do upstairs. We're turning a five-bedroom flat, which is currently the home for the landlord, his partner, and their four kids, and two members of staff, and replace that with two one-bedroom flats. Yes, I mean, it, it just didn't make any sense. I mean, how many, how many uh, of your uh, constituents are ringing you each week saying they want to be rehoused into a four-bedroom flat or more, and there's none of them about. I was talking to a, a big Somali family down on the uh, the, the, the William, William Close, William yeah. Close, the other week. Just, yeah. I mean, there's there's sort of six or seven of them in a, in a tiny little flat. We don't need to be getting rid of big flats. We need to be building more of them. Yeah. So yeah, we were down the town hall uh, on Thursday last night uh, with a hundred of hundred or so of the local. Uh, the local customers and residents who come and out to support them. Yeah, with a hundred protesters, including John Snow from Channel 4 News. Who's, who lives just around the corner in Torriano Cottages. And, and he was very uh, impassioned and articulate. Yes, as you just looked, I think it was one of the first meetings he's done down the town hall, and he was impressed, I think, by the standard of the debate and the, the councillors who were there. And I think the whole evening was a, a victory for community politics. Yes. The only surprise of the evening was that the Green Party leader voted with the developers. I was really surprised to see that happen. You know, I would have thought that of anybody, the Green Party sort of make a big play of the fact that they kind of they're local. And one of the things that struck me is there was absolutely no uh, consideration of environmental issues in the application in the first place. There was place. no green roof. There wasn't any grey water reuse. There weren't any of the things that you'd really want to be seeing in a, in an application for a site anyway. So how they felt they could support the developers. And no cycle storage, which actually should have been a requirement of the application in a uh, development like this. So it was great to see that thrown out. We were back here at the end of the day celebrating with Dean, Susie and the other customers, uh, our residents from the area, yep. um, for, for a good few hours. A lot of people said to me, uh, it's restored my faith in local politics. And because that, that is at the end of the day what campaigns like this should be about. It should be about what is important to people in their area. It's not so much about parties, it's about issues that affect the community and making the community a better place. And, I mean, we'll, we'll be staying on this campaign, won't we, Nick? We'll be staying sure. on behind backing Dean and Susie, so that if there's any other threats to the pub, we, we, we'll be there right behind them. For sure. Because um, sure. you know, we need to preserve places like this for the, the next generation, because there's not a lot of this kind of old type of community pub left. That's the sort of thing we Well, there's certainly nothing uh, immediately around here. No. Nor, in, nor any other uh, social facilities, so this is the best in the area. So, yes. Vote Lib Dem on the 30th of October. Vote Lib Dem on the 30th of October. <laughs>